Hi, and welcome back to MRTV. Dear VR enthusiast, today I'm showing you the ultimate dream PC for VR enthusiasts like us so that you can run your Pimax Crystal Super, Meganex Super Light 8K, Play for Dream, Big Screen Beyond 2 in the best possible way. It's the XMG sector of the year 2025 running an RDX 5090 and it's an absolute beast PC. It is simply the perfect PC for everyone that needs raw power for that Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and all these sims and all these high-end games that simply need raw power. This is it. I've seen lots of great hardware here at the MRTV headquarters, but this is truly a beast and it's built in perfection. That's what XMG does. So if you are in Europe and you simply need the perfectly built high-end PC, check out the XMG sector. It is fantastic. And well, all of the components I'm going to show you in this video so you can exactly get the same results that I'm getting here in the MRTV headquarters. And by the way, this is the computer that I'm going to use in my videos and in my reviews. So if you want exactly the same results, this is the computer to get. So without further ado, this is going to be an exciting video because, well, I'm going to go through each and all of the components so that you know which PC to get for yourself if you want that full power for your PC VR enjoyment. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. I'm so glad that you're back on the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if you're excited about a high-end PC VR, this is the right channel. I would be surprised if you're not subscribed yet. <laughs> if you are not, absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. Before I talk about the specs and components of this Beast PC, I would like to say thank you to XMG. So for everyone who doesn't know XMG, they are building high-end PC VR desktops and also laptops. They are perfectly crafted and built together. You will see it in this video. And I could not build these kind of PCs myself, even though I could build a computer, right? But not like that. It's absolutely professional. And on top of that, you get the perfect service. So if anything is wrong, they're going to replace the whole computer. They are there for you and they are going to help you. So if you are in Europe, and if you're looking for a high-end computer to run PC VR, check out XMG and check out the XMG sector that I'm going to show you in this video. And just to make you understand how seriously XMG takes everything, the whole German perfection thing. When I received the computer here in Taiwan, actually, they sent one of the XMG team members here, who's also, by the way, in Taiwan to work on those computers, to just observe me, to just check out how I would set up the computer and to find out what is the custom experience in order to optimize it and to give feedback to the headquarters in Germany, what could still be optimized. You see that level of perfection? You could get it with XMG. So yeah, big thumbs up. All right, but now let's talk about the configuration of this XMG sector that's here at the MRTV headquarters so that you know what kind of computer I'm using for all the videos and reviews here on the channel and for you to get it yourself if you want the exact same results. The link is down in the description of this video and in the first pinned command. That's the XMG sector configurator because you can still configure it to your liking, but this is the one that I'm using and it's truly the best. And yeah, let's start with the CPU. I'm using the AMD Ryzen 9 9950HX3D. And well, for gaming and especially VR, the new 3D V cache is simply a game changer. High frame rates, very little latency, and it's simply stable. And especially for flight sims or for using headsets with 50 plus PPD, that is extremely important. 
And for the GPU, of course, it's the RTX 5090. And it's the ASUS TUF RTX 5090 32 gigabyte overclocked. It's the beast. With 32 gigabyte of VRAM and simply raw power. With this, I can finally max out my Super, my Crystal Super, and of course also my Mega Nex and well all of these headsets. And that is so important. No more compromises with settings. Simply give it the full power. Really nice. And this thing can do it all. Then for the main board, it's the Asus ROG Strix X870F. It is simply high end. It is very future proof PCIe 5.0, very important for VR because also in the future we need fast SSDs and we simply need the bandwidth. For RAM, 64 gigabyte DDR5 6000 Corsair Vengeance. 64 gigabyte is very nice. And yeah, especially for VR simming, modding, multitasking, streaming, it is a big advantage and I'm glad to have it, <laughs> of course. For the SSD, I went with a two terabyte Kingston Fury Renegade NVMe 4.0. Super fast, perfect for big VR titles like Microsoft Flight Simulator, DCS World and so on and so forth. Yeah, let's see if I will get another one of these, right? One is right now is okay, but probably you want two of them. No problem whatsoever. Then for cooling and airflow, using the Corsair IQ Link Titan 360RX and nine, nine times the Corsair LX120 RGB. Yeah, for the looks, right? So for high-end VR, stability is everything. And overheating and thermal throttling is an absolute no-go. And that is why, thanks to these components, everything is cool and very silent, actually. The whole thing is super silent. I was so surprised by this. And even at full power, using the, the GPU and CPU at its full power, it is still really silent. Let me show you that. Then for the power supply, we have the 1000 watts Corsair RM1000E. And yeah, we need lots of power for the GPU and CPU, right? For this peak power that is being used. And as you know, the 5090 needs lots of power. So this is just the right high quality power supply from Corsair. And for the case, it's the Corsair Frame 4000D. It's very simple, clean, and it's perfectly made for the right airflow. And with the RGB fans, the whole thing also looks really cool. So overall, I'm just super happy with the looks and with the cooling. So big thumbs up. So yeah, that is truly a dream PC. And I'm telling you, I've been using this for high-end PC VR now for a couple of days already. And it's just a true game changer. It's just so much better, obviously, than the mobile 4090 in the laptop that I was using before. And now I can really use the full raw power for all these high-end PC VR headsets. I can super sample the headsets way more than before, obviously. I can choose the higher settings and the thing is truly silent. It is absolutely fantastic. So if you're looking for that high-end PC VR experience and if you want the raw power, you can go for the XMG Sector, the 2025 version, and simply configure it just like I configured it and you'll be super happy. The link is down in the description of this video. Again, thanks to XMG for lending me this computer. Yes, I have to give it back, but that is totally fine. And well, I'm very grateful that I can use it here now. So for us, the PC VR community, I would say, let's be grateful that there are companies just like XMG who are actively 
supporting our our scene, our PC VR enthusiast scene. So if you want to get the best that's out there right now, go for this and you're even supporting a fantastic company that cares about VR. Absolutely thumbs up. All right, now you know what kind of PC I'm using for all the videos and all the reviews starting from now. That is the MRTV XMG Sector 5090 Beast PC. And now I would love to know from you in the comments, if you had this computer, what kind of headset would you love to run on it? Do let me know down in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful for you, probably for crafting your own PC or buying this one, yes, do it. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'm looking for the videos that are coming out and uh, yeah, all the great VR content that I'm going to do on this computer. Hope you're looking forward to that too. Until then, bye-bye.